everybody, it's Crafted by Norma again. I just thought I'd go through a quick flip through of one of the envelope journals that I've just uh, completed. I've been quite busy just recently uh, making the envelope, so uh, my sales have been quite good, so I thought I'd better replace. So it's got one hand sewn um, signature in. I've put a little tiny tag there from the center of the signature. Uh, and it's made of six manila envelopes, approximately seven inches by five inches, or to take seven by five card anyway. Uh, sort of like themed butterflies, uh, this one. So, a uh, quick flip through, won't take long. I uh, hope you enjoy the uh, having a look at what I've done. So, to start with, I've just got a corner uh, flap there, which I've gone and put a small journaling card. Really like this uh, this paper, by the way. This is a Tim Holtz card, which I've just gone and made a very, very simple uh, notebook there to slot in. A corner-to-corner -corner belly tag with a journaling card and just a card that has been um, ripped uh, using my rip ruler which I adore uh, so pleased I got uh, I purchased it just uh, love using it so that just slots into into there and the tag goes into to there like so uh, flipping through the next page all my journals that I do with the uh, envelope journals I have these uh, middle belly um, holders where I've just got this really nice uh, die I'm not sure where I got it from um, I think it was might be tattered lace but uh, I really like it so I thought uh, I'd uh, carry on the same as same vein as normal so this is a postcard from uh, gosh oh uh, La Blanche uh, they do some uh, really nice uh, nice cards, so I thought that was quite nice to journal on. And again, this is just a journaling card using some uh, of the new papers uh, that I've uh, gone and bought. Someone's asked me to uh, for a commission on a, uh, a journal, so um, I uh, thought I'd uh, I'd have a little practice run with that. The little tab there matches the little tag that's there. This is just a little note look book that I've done, if I can remember how to unwind, if only, where are we, oh, there's the other end, that's not, yeah, that's, that's better, so that just opens out with some journaling pages uh, there, and then these just match this here, that pulls out as a journaling card, or to keep your photos, uh, your photos in. And then with this one, it flips out there like so. And we've got a invoice. And I've just gone and made a little envelope, a B envelope there, and paper clipped that in. And that just goes into that um, page there. A bookmark with some really pretty uh, butterflies on. This here is uh, an original from a fob watch that uh, I used and uh, I just thought that would be quite nice just to put that on there it's just as a little, uh, a little something that's just a little different. So turning over to the next page we've got a journaling paper there and I've put a little fold um, for the papers to slide uh, up and down a little um, belly bar there for that and that again matches the little card there a little seed envelope and I've just put Queen Bee on it because it sort of matches the sort of theme and then my signature that's been hand sewn into the uh, the journal and you can see where I've just attached that little uh, tea tag there so some of my coffee stain paper as you all know, majority of my coffee stain paper, I use a squirty bottle with coffee in as an alternative. Uh, a white envelope 
with a small handmade envelope out of a piece of brown card, craft card, and then inside the envelope I've got a picture of a, a B. Some maths paper, some card, hand paper, and then some um, paper from a vintage book, some more coffee stain paper, and then a paper bag. And again, I've got to use one of my little paper clips there to hold the um, the goodies inside the bag there should just be a little bit different more coffee stain papers and I say that's where uh, my tag is uh, I've just put a little tiny bit because this paper was a bit a bit tender I've just put some really nice uh, washi tape that I had which I thought was quite uh, quite nice with this coffee stained already I uh, can't remember where I got that from either, to be honest. But I've picked it up somewhere along the line. The other side of the bag, and again it's got a little um, a little card there for journaling in. And again a little uh, tag for a paper clip, just to slot on there so that doesn't fall out. Some more of the coffee stained paper. The other side of the, the book, again which is quite nice for journaling in, and some home... Uh, handmade papers there and then the other side of the envelope and um, what I've gone and done there I've used a stencil and some coffee uh, and some um, distress inks just to uh, stencil over the white envelope just to make a, a little difference um, on that one and again I've just done a little paper clip using the same uh, image as the the little tag that's there just as uh, just to keep that to hold that in place and then on the last but one page I've gone and put a little tiny notepad with the image of a bee uh, in the corner and then here is again an image of a bee and it's one of my uh, little card holders so you can see that slots in there little teeny weeny envelope just there a uh, journaling card just held in place there and that just uh, slots into into there and again the idea is for the papers and the cards to match um, match up, don't whether you can need to be a bit, a bit closer, there we go and then on the last two pages uh, a black envelope that I've made from some black card with a specimen card there ready to uh, journal on and then an envelope with a window so again I've gone and stenciled uh, on the envelope just to make it uh, not so envelope looking a little tag across the bottom there just to hold uh, some paper there to uh, journal on and again I've just used one of my little tags that I've made for the uh, the paper clips and that just slots into there and then obviously the envelope continues to go there on that side and I've put a little tag in there and that flips over some paper there ready to journal on and then one of my large tags uh, as a postcard that just uh, slots into that area there <coughs> excuse me and at the very back I've just put a piece of uh, craft card image of the, uh, the big queen bee uh, and a tag at the um, the very back there, just with Inspire on. And that's that particular journal, which will be going on my uh, Etsy shop um, sometime this week. So just a quick flip through. Hope you enjoyed having uh, a look at what I've been doing. Uh, if you do, please give me the thumbs up and a comment. Quite happy to take uh, comments. And it would be lovely for you to subscribe so you can see the other things that uh, I make in the next uh, coming uh, weeks and months. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and see you later. Thanks, bye!